Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time intervals. This is standard 3.7c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So on Saturday afternoon, Marcus went to a swimming pool, and the clock shows the time that he arrived. So that's going to be very important. And then he left 45 minutes later. So what time did he leave? So first, let's figure out what time he arrived. So we've got uh, our hour hand is between 1 and 2, right? So that's going to be 1 something. And remember that these big numbers are sets of 5. All right, so we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So here's 35. So 7 times 5 is 35. So that's when he gets there is 35. Now the reason adding time is so difficult is because we can't necessarily just line it up like an addition problem, right? Like 1... 35 plus 45. I mean, we could, but the answer we're going to get is going to be very strange because there are 60 minutes in an hour, but our number system is based off sets of 10 and 100. So watch what happens when we do this. We get 10, we get 8, right? So 180. What, what in the world is 180? That's not even a time. So that's why we can't really add time like this. Sometimes it works, but the second it goes over the next hour, it just becomes strange. So we need to do something a little bit different. There's two different ways we can do it. One is we can use like a timeline. So we're going to set up a timeline right here. Okay. So we're going to start with 135. And what we're going to do is we are going to take jumps, 5-minute jumps or 10-minute jumps, until we get to the next hour. Once we get to the next hour, adding becomes easy, because 45 minutes isn't that long. So our first jump, right, needs to be here from 135 to 2. So let's see if we go from 135 to 145. That's going to be 10 minutes, 145 to 155. And obviously, the spacing here isn't, isn't good, but that's fine. There's another 10 minutes. Between 155 and 2 is going to be 5. So that's a 10 and 10 and a 5. So this is 25 minutes. So we took a 25-minute jump to get from 135 up to 2. So now we've got 25, and remember, we need to get up to 45. So what that's going to be is that's going to be two 10-minute jumps, or you can take one big 20-minute jump. But if we took a 10-minute jump right here, that's going to get us to 210. We're just, now that we're at 2 o'clock, we are just adding the minutes, and another 10-minute jump is going to get us up to 220. So it looks like Right, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. There's my 45 minutes. It's going to get us up to 220. Let's see if we can verify that using a different method. And this other method is just to use the clock itself. Right? Now we have to visualize the hour hand, but the minute hand is not so difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this just in case we need it. 45, 50, 55, and there's not really a 60. I'm going to make that a 0, 0. That's my o'clock, right? So we're going to start at 35, and I'm just going to count by sets of 5 up to 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now, once I hit my 25, remember I hit 2 o'clock, so my hour hand is now at 2. So I'm at 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, so I'm at 2, 20. So there is my answer, F. 